Hello and welcome to Kerry D's Artistry and Design Limited. I'm Kerry D and today we're going to look at some of the border basics that I use in piping. So let's move straight on and have a look at the material and equipment. As this is only border basics, as you can see, I just have two bags of icing. I haven't given you specific tube sizes because you could use any round tube, star tube to do any of the following techniques. However, you need to know that I'm using a large star tube and a small star tube here. So let's have a look at some of the techniques that are involved in piping a border. Now first we're going to look at the most common border out there for pipes and that would be a shell. So the method I teach my students is what I call a 3S method and that's squeeze, stop, swipe. If you say that in your mind as you're piping it you will end up with even shaped shells with equal size. So what I'm going to do 45 degree angle obviously if you're left handed you would do this in reverse. I'm going to touch my tube down onto my board although this would be the cake in reality. Squeeze, stop squeezing, swipe. That will give me a shell. Now when you place the next one don't go too close to it because that way it'll run onto the top. Give it a bit of a space and go squeeze, it'll grow towards it, stop, swipe. So if I was doing this on a real cake I would then continue by squeeze, stop, swipe, squeeze, stop, swipe, squeeze, stop, swipe, squeeze, stop, swipe, squeeze, stop, swipe. Now, as I said at the beginning of this in material and equipment, it doesn't have to be any particular size tube. This is a smaller star tube using exactly the same method. And you can use a plain round tube, which is what some people call a snail's trail, which you'll see around the bottom of sugar pasted cakes to cover up the join between the cake and the board. Now let's talk about another basic border, and that would be a barrel. Now the mo um, sorry, a rope leading into a barrel. Now the action you would need is this sort of rolling action. If you then put your tube down, 45 degree, with an even pressure, keep rolling around, that will give you a rope. If you lift it off, it'll give you a different sort of rope and may cause you problems. If you do not lift it high enough, you'll end up with that sort of look. So what we're looking for is an even rope. Just keep the action going. And that'll give you a nice rope right around your cake. Now, the evolution of a rope will then go into what's called a barrel. A barrel is a torpedo shaped rope. And the way of doing that is you increase and decrease the pressure as you're doing it. So I'll start piping here. I'll start. I'll increase my pressure, I'll decrease my pressure. What I'm looking for is a nice torpedo shape. So once again, oops, air bubble, increase the pressure, decrease the pressure, increase the pressure, decrease the pressure. Let's move on to scroll work. There are two basic shapes for scroll, that being an S and a C. An S-shaped scroll is that shape and a C shape scroll is that shape. Now if I was to actually pipe a scroll onto the top of that if you break it down and think of it as a rope with a tail you would then put the rope here and when you got to the curve you'd then draw the line out and again rope and draw the line out. Now, Let's see if I can do this upside down for you and show you how it would fit onto a barrel. So I'm going to pipe myself two barrels, although well, scrolls can be on two barrels or one barrel. And you would, this would be your shape, and you would pipe the rope over the top of here. When you got to the middle, you would draw the rope around you can then pipe the C behind it and if you were going to do a double S you would then start your second scroll in there and that would come around there. Now to establish a base for your line work I then draw using the same tube line over the top of each.
Onto that you would then build your 3 2 one line work. So that'll give you a brief introduction as to some of the piped borders. I'll be having a book coming out later in 2011 showing you further breakdowns of different borders and different techniques for piping borders. So look out for that one. Now let's move on and show you an example of a cake that was done just using our plain double S scroll. 